Kieran, how did you feel when you got the call to say you're on the main card? Yeah, it was absolutely chuffed. Um, yeah, it was brilliant. Obviously, unfortunately, with Peter Rowe, it's unfortunate, but uh, yeah, delighted at the opportunity, and it was uh, great to be back on the, you know, the feature prelim again. But <clears throat> it was great to get the main card. You know, does it change anything at all for you in fight week? No, doesn't change anything. It just as long as I know when I'm fighting, you know, we swing back before, and now here I am in the main card, so it's great. We have to talk about that fight in November. <clears throat> um, I think your comeback in that fight really ignited the the crowd inside there. Um, what were your thoughts on afterwards? Yeah, it was just um, it was a great night to be honest. Uh, it was great, it's great to get the win over such a good opponent. Um, I didn't know I was lo losing the scorecards, and I don't think he did either to be honest, because in the last round, if if he thought he was winning, I think he would have played you know played it safe. If when I was on his back and but he was trying to get out, so um, I think he he thought he was he was losing. I thought he I, I thought it was two rounds up, first round and winning the third. Um, so yeah, because he I think he thought he was losing. He was trying to get out, and that's obviously opened up the finish. Then you know, so obviously it went my way. So thank God, you know. You've obviously been doing this like quite a long time, but have you noticed since that fight, you, like you've got a bigger profile, people recognize you a bit more, or like you, anything's changed at all? Yeah, a little bit, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I was able to show me character in that fight, you know, on the big stage. I had me tough uh, amateur fights uh, against tough lads as well, like, you know, some of them the good pros now as well. And I had me wars, you know, the way. So I was able to show on that stage, you know, against a tough lad under the circumstances, you know, and, you know, um, yeah, it was great to show it, to be honest. A great way to kick off 2022 on the main card in Dublin. What are your plans for this year in general? Just be active. I'd love to get three fights this year, February, summer, and then obviously I'm, you know, I don't know if they're coming back before the end of the year, but it'd be great to, you know, so I'd like it just uh, an active uh, 2022, you know. Hey, Karen, I, I was hey, speaking to, uh, to Will Flory during the week, and he, he was kind of saying to us that you're one of the most underrated guys in the gym, and people aren't talking about you enough, and there's lots of hype for lots of other people, but you're not getting enough. Is that something that you feel as well? Uh, to be honest, like, it probably, it, it is the truth, probably, you know, but I don't really think about it too much. To be honest, I like that. Like, it's, it's, um, I don't really like when it's too much on me, you know, I'm, I'm, more, I'm more of an introvert, you know, the way I, I'd like to, I don't like the, you know, as bizarre as it is, you know, this is tough, really tough for me and not that it's tough, but like, I don't like that, if that makes sense, you know, um, so yeah, I mean, it probably is the truth, but uh, it doesn't bother me too much, yeah. What way would you say your say your skill set stacks up against maybe the rest of the division? Obviously, you're very new, and you everyone sees your skill set because you've had so many tough fights. Maybe because of those tough fights, you've had to tough through it. So maybe you know sometimes people can confuse tough with skillful. Is that something you have felt because of those tough fights you've had in the tough matchmaking? Yeah, probably. Um, I mean, I had had tough fights as you said. You know, I uh, didn't get the easier it definitely, and uh, yeah. But I suppose my skill set would be you know I just again it's like. You can watch me and it's not it doesn't look marvelous so you know whatever whatever you can th think about it but it's only until you're in there you know and i think it'll be the same on friday and um yeah it's just i put a pressure on guys and uh bring a pace and oh yeah uh, i dictate you know so i just bring them into my world and um they're reacting to me but uh yeah i suppose um because of the tough fights obviously it's hard to uh you know it's not all uh rosy you know what i mean so um, and your fight on Friday, your opponent, I've watched a couple of these fights, he's, he's very, very good, obviously good few knockouts and uh, double the experience that you have inside the cage as well. Another tough fight, I suppose, but is that, you want tough fights, I assume. Do you think he's the type of guy that maybe you can show more of that skill set? You'll always be able to show the toughness to everyone that sends in there does, but is it, you, do you think he's the guy you can score, show more of the skill set against? Yeah, big time, definitely. I mean, it's another tough fight, he's seven and two. As you said, he's, this be his 10th, this be my fifth, you know, so twice as many fights. You know, I think I'm probably more experienced because I I stay I, I don't know much about his amateur, but you know, I'm doing it a long time. I stayed amateur for over twenty fights and you know, um I think I'll have that on him, you know. But um yeah, he's a tough lad, like and I'm looking to show more of my skills that I'm been improving big time since the last one. I know it wasn't that long, but I knew I needed to work on and I'm um, looking forward to you know, he's obviously gonna be coming in here. There's a Bellator Paris coming up. Um he's gonna come in, he's gonna he's gonna go for it, you know what I mean? It's gonna be a tough fight, like so. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the challenge, you know. Last one for me. Um, you've spoken to us before about where you're from, you know, and representing where you're from. And obviously it's been a tough time for the town and everything like that. For you to be on the main card in this big spot, representing, you know, where you come from, how much does that mean to you? It's everything, you know, it's massive. As I said, um, we started this, you know, just we 
sent me brother there just two of us fell in love with the sport and he said you know we all get into these things for you know myself you know next to that here are people telling you oh, you're an inspiration for the town you're doing the town proud and you know young kids are looking up to you and you're an example and it's, it's mental like you know what i mean and it's uh i suppose i'm carrying that now you know so i'm very proud where i'm from draw that and um yeah i'm looking looking forward to representing them well now and proudly all right one on the zoom here adam go ahead hey karen thanks for the time here uh, obviously going in against a fairly experienced opponent here i uh, just wondering if you can give us a little bit of a preview of what to expect you're expecting this to be a three-round war or are you looking to go in and get things done early yeah, I definitely want an easy one since the last one anyway. Um I think it's gonna be back and forth, you know. I think I think he'll uh you know he'll he'll bring on the grappling. I think he won't um he'll try to engage. I think when we clinch up, but I think he'll try grappling me even, you know. So I think it's gonna be a mixed martial arts fight. You know? It's gonna be, you know, both was showing uh our skills, but obviously I think uh, I can exploit where he um is I'm stronger, you know. So I'm looking forward to it. Great, and uh, to expand upon that a little bit further, anything in particular you're working on in the gym that we might be able to might see on Friday night? Yeah, just with the stand up, I was uh, I felt I had like the range, you know, I, I I felt comfortable in that range, and I just like the last fight, whereas it was in that kind of danger zone where I was getting caught, but like I wasn't like, letting go of myself, you know. So I just want to get comfortable in there and like you know make it easy, make it easier if that makes sense, you know, like land the shots and not be a little bit trigger shy and you know i know the last guy jordan was dangerous so maybe that was a little bit of a but like i could have made it a lot easier on the feet you know i think i could have been competitive you know um so yeah i've been working on things like that and obviously looking at my last fight they scored a lot in damage you know uh obviously I said i was losing the scorecard so but i think that was down to the damage so when i get into the positions now i'm going to be thinking about that you know i'm going to be trying to land the big shots and and uh, again that opens up the positions you know for the finish so uh, just walking on these things. I didn't have a lot of time, but I definitely did, uh, you know, I took a week off straight back into the gym and trying to get better, you know, for this one. Kieran, FM 104, go ahead. Kieran, how are you? We spoke very after your, your last fight and you were very optimistic and said, look, I want to fight on the main card. How disappointed were you when Bellator were coming back and you weren't on the main card originally? Um, I tell you what, actually, I got a bit mixed up. Like, people got mixed up the last time. What was... They had a chance the last time there was a fight pulled and they bumped up some to the prelims, you know. So I thought like I was the feature prelim, it made sense for me to be bumped up. So it didn't it was just more that night. You know, I don't I don't really I didn't really I I be first fight at night, you know, it doesn't matter. I fought in front of nobody. I fought in front of my hometown at twelve o'clock at night and in front of all my friends and family. So it doesn't really matter to me, you know, but it was just the last one I thought um it would have made sense to bump me up, but I mean, here I am. It's not as if I was screaming, I want main card. It was nothing like that. It was just a thought. It would have made more sense to last him if they were to bump anyone up to the main card. It would have been me, but here I am now. It's uh, it's unreal, you know? How did you feel then? Bring us back to the, the call that you got. The look, you're going to be on the main card. And I mean, I think you're third last. So, I mean, it's uh, kind of co-main event status nearly. Yeah, it's deadly. Um, I couldn't believe it. I, I, I didn't even know. I, I, uh, I didn't even know I was actually on the media day here. I, I, I was supposed to be on the media for... Um, even even though I was on the prelims, but um, I didn't. I then I, I was thinking that to explain the emails. Some of the emails were different than the last time, you know. Um, but yeah, no. I, when I when I was told, I was delighted and uh, appreciate Bellator for the opportunity and I'm looking to take advantage of it now on Friday. Best of luck, Karen. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for time. All set. Thanks, lads.